Hello to all my yarny friends, uh, this is Christina. Um, I'm about to show you a quick sneak peek of uh, what my yarn room will be looking like. I haven't time, get the time to place everything yet and actually not everything fits. But uh, it's nice and spacious, thing is one wall it's windows and the other one is French door leading to my kitchen. So I had to be uh, very uh, practical and what would it be looking like without being so cramped because I want to have a spacious nice and bright area and uh, here it is not 100% done 95 to 99 percent done but uh, this is how it's gonna look like so enjoy the tour <laughs> okay. so when we get in sorry if guys make you look dizzy okay this is bins of yarn that haven't been able to place yet because there's no space actually some whips those five there's five boxes here that i'm really ashamed to say that's all ufo as you can see <laughs> uh ufo ufo and i really have to open it one by one and really finish everything that's in it I went to Michael's by all those little uh, shoe box, decorative shoe box to put all my ribbons, buttons and all little knickknacks that needs to be placed that doesn't look too messy. I still have those cupboards here full of yarn. Um, let me just back up. So here, that's a, this is how I place my bookshelves of yarn more here as you see one one wall is a french door leading to the kitchen here is knitting stuff that are done plus a bit of my looms i got uh, tripods for my camera because i'll try to be more on the photo things for my props so i put my desk in the middle so that way i can just walk around enjoy what I'm doing. This is a shawl I made this summer. I really like it. I like to have it on my shoulder while knitting. I made this too actually. I'd like to show you guys because it's so cute and cozy for my hooks holder cup. <laughs> Some of my books. In that corner here is gonna be a little bookshelf coming up because I really need to have space to put my books. My neighbors had a garage sale and I got those three, um, I don't know, units we call it, for only $30. And let me tell you, there's yarn fit in those I have here. Yarns and yarn and yarns, protect by a glass window, so dust free. This one needs a little fix up on the door, so I'm waiting for my husband to fix it. But there's like four rows of yarn right one back of the other. It's pretty deep actually. Drawers, more yarn, yarn, yarn. Here I'll put all my hooks, supplies. I'll try to fit some of my loom here. And uh, this is it. There's tons of yarn. A little project that I'm planning to sell in the fair. Like here I made some dishcloths on crochet. I made different colors as you see. And uh, I placed them all in because it looks pretty. This is a gift for a friend of mine. It was her birthday. Um, we were together near, near her birthday time but I was in the middle of moving and I just couldn't find her present which is I'm going to show you guys. It is a nice green scarf. The light doesn't bring it very nicely because it's a very bright lime green. Doesn't really look like it right now. But uh, yeah. And uh, of course I have my yarn over and over again. I took one little shelf <laughs> for my dolls right now. But I'm planning to put more yarn. Hello kitty. Hey. <laughs> She's curious. Everybody loves yarn here. 
this one thing that yarn or mice she just grab a skein and go brr, brr, and carry it all over the place so I really have to keep those doors closed <laughs> so right now that's how I place my stuff props accessories craft fair shows accessories coffee cups and tea that I can use to knit cozies this is a future project I just don't want to forget about I'm planning to make a little Irish beard <laughs> for St. Patty and uh, yeah so I place everything like this big 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 window I really like it daytime it's amazing the lights coming in it's just perfect so and on top here I put some crafts like paper gift wraps, backdrops because I really really want to get into photography as well. Maybe not professional, but uh, something that uh, I'll be able to uh, list my Etsy uh, things with nice quality uh, pictures. So this is what I've done so far. It took me forever. I just don't understand how I did it the first time, how I made it. I was pregnant. I was like, what, seven, eight months pregnant? No, probably seven. With a sore back and everything. And I was placing my yarn in the old craft room. I just don't know how I did it. Now with two kids, it's terrible. Emilia, my daughter, <laughs> she's just running all around the desk and going, ah! Every time she finds her skin beautiful. Her favorites so far are those one here. The homespun gray, pink, and white, and all the glitter one here, and some messy here, as you can see, that have been thrown and thrown out, pick up, brought back in the shelves. So uh, yeah, we have fun here, and uh, I got my internet hooked, my computer fried. So thank you for a friend of mine, Serge Manouin, who gave me his old computer so I can use it. And because I'm, I really suck with my iPad, honestly. Typing, it's terrible. So, yarn winder here. And uh, this is a little craft that my friend Serge gave me. He's working in a daycare and he has many, many good ideas for all using scraps. Actually, it's a cardboard of toilet paper that he knit a little tube. Flip it and add a pom-pom to make like a little hat. That can be a very nice uh, craft idea to do with kids for uh, Christmas to put to hang in the trees and everything. So I put it there as a, my good luck charm for my new craft room. So there it is. And voila! I'll try to get some space for all those goodies because those are big big bins of yarn that I have just have nowhere to place some are very 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 good yarn there like alpaca and stuff like that all fantasy yarn and I just don't know where I'm gonna put them all so maybe I'm gonna use more my yarn winder and uh, shrink all those canes but uh, yeah so far I have uh, some good stuff out I have a lot of mohair and uh, like those are like mohair yarn, mohair and wool, my sock yarn because I'll try to make more socks. Actually, I'm uh, I start a video how to make socks on the loom because a lot of people asking step by step. And I start now other <laughs> actually I start many other projects, so just be patient guys. This is all my felting wool. I went nuts at Michaels this summer because 